All right now, uh, tributes continue to pour in for legendary Kwaito musician and founding member of TKZ, Dukolo Makesh Chabalala. He's been described by his peers as the best lyricist. He sadly passed away yesterday following an epileptic seizure. Surely there's no one who can uh, describe him better than our next guest. TKZ's founding member, Zwei Bala, joins me now virtually to tell us about his, friends and, his friend and their uh, journey together. Zwei, thank you so much for speaking to us. I know that uh, this is not uh, something easy to do, to pay tribute uh, to such a close friend of yours. I know that you uh, knew each other for decades. Um, tell me just how you're feeling about, you know, such a huge loss. Uh, sure. Yeah, no, we weren't uh, ready for this whatsoever. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's, uh, it's uh, kind of surreal because I was saying in one of the interviews earlier that, uh, you know, is it a is it a loss? Because the stuff that uh, really is emotional and touching is, uh, is when you reflect on is uh, is when you reflect on the past, you know, um, and 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 which to me feels more like uh, you know like gain than loss, you know. Um, and and uh, what an amazing guy, and just what an impact he's had on so many of us, uh, especially those that. That has that had personal encounters with him, <clears throat> quite private uh, and exclusive. Um, I guess yeah, I'm gonna finish your trial. <laughs> Not that violence are going on, but you know, just <laughs> just you know, like trial and uh, that kind of worked for us a lot, especially in our early days as a group. Um, you know, uh, you know, just ex exclusivity and doing our thing. And when we let it out, we let it out. And it's a, you know, it's a, a nice bang and a surprise. Uh, otherwise, uh, I mean, it goes without saying that uh, he was a very key component to what we created together. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, yesterday I wouldn't have been able to take any call, but uh, yeah. today I think it's just only proper to, you know, uh, 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 come to terms with the fact that, you know, Dulo was not just ours alone. He was, belonged to the people. He belonged to everybody. And uh, the whole country, the whole continent is, uh, is, is feeling at a loss. And uh, yeah, I can only do my bit in sharing um, what I can. Mm. Yeah. I mean, Halloween, for instance, was released in 1994. I was just five years old at the time, but I could sing along with my older siblings, etc. And, you know, that was quite a huge album uh, during a very important year in South Africa's history. I'm sure you guys were very proud of yourselves. Yeah, um, actually, to, to correct that, it was actually mm. 1998. Oh. Uh, it was... Uh, yeah, it was Palafala that was released at the end of uh, 1997. Mm. But um, following 1994, I think uh, especially young people were beginning to really find their feet and, 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 and you know, come out, you know, after the break of Kwaito in 94, 95. And that there was a buzz and we felt that we, 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 we there's a space that we own, you know, uh, mm. in the, in the you know, in, the, in, in our community and, and yeah, so it really represented, uh, um, you know, TKZ represented everybody, you know, all in one. Uh, Pansula for life, uh, who went to uh, St. Stephen's College. Yes, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it was like, ah, and then it means it's a very long, and also it was like, ah, yes, I'm not going to be able to do it. That's actually what I, that's uh, actually and, exactly what I thought. Because St. Stephen's is yeah. a very prestigious school, you know, and especially during those days. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and thanks to, and really a big thanks to Dukulo who just brought Kasi into us. I mean, I remember me, I was, oh, I came in again that way because I, I literally grew up in boarding school. And I remember once, I think I said Pitor in Atridgeville or something, and, uh, and, uh, I mean, I go, yeah, I know, and then the Tetalo English there, and it's like, ah, man, ah, man, ah, man, ah, you know, school, and, you know, and I'm like, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, uh, and, uh, and, 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 yeah, and, and TKZ was, uh, you know, it was, the, 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 it was the collection of all those dynamics that uh, we all believed uh, worked in our favor, and we could not be jealous of each other or not like each other, because all this, Mm. Uh, came together only to give 
a lot of force and, and, and a lot of positives to what we're creating. Uh, until, you know, we could also realize, oh, okay, so this is what TKZ is. Mm. And uh, the rest was really dreams that came true. And um, I can um, I can never be I can never be grateful enough for that. Uh, you know, it's like that you are you are out of it, and it's in, you know you, you you're having an aerial view of everything. It's like really, uh, but you know we used to laugh all the time. We're friends, so even when everything was happening, it's like hey, what am I feeling? Just serious, this is happening, you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, I can imagine. But, uh, yeah, it's like, I'm blessed. Yeah, I feel blessed. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And I mean, you can correct me if I'm wrong with this one. I believe that it was um, Tukullo who wrote your Mambochi and Zalama Mapansula. Um, am I correct that he's the one who came up with most of the lyrics there? Look, the, the songs are credited, uh, the, all the songs are credited uh, equally to all of us. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, the exception of Mambochi, because Usmusi's Usmu Janga, so my lawyer, was uh, with us when he wrote that. Mm. Even though it came out on Halloween, but we wrote at the same time as Palafala. Yeah. Uh, we just went quite ready with it. Uh, but yeah, we shared everything equally because we believe that uh, everybody's input was just like, <laughs> it just added so much. It just, you know, it all became part of the song. So even if someone were to sample any of the songs and say, no, I just want a, a, a show of Ingo, I just want that part, then <laughs> it's going to be Gabelo that gets because he wrote that part. No, no, we all have rights to everything that we created and uh, you know and going forward even though i don't know how uh, we're going to go forward but uh, you know what is due to Tukulo will always be due to Tukulo. he's got uh, perpetual rights to to everything that he has he had rights to us up here mm, mm. and also mm. i want to go back to his character you know i mean you say that uh, he was quite a private person and that's what we saw as south africans because we would at least see you and gabalo every now and then uh, you know on the uh, media scenes etc but never him he's always uh, you know he he just decided i guess even after uh, the three of you decided to retire the group that he's just going to be a bit more private uh, than the both of you uh, just tell us more about the type of person he was, what you'll miss most about him. Was it his jokes? <laughs> yeah, it was certainly jokes all the way, uh, especially with people that he knows. I mean, with us, sure. Tina, we laughed all the time, even when uh, we were not doing that great. Uh, we had so much to laugh about. So. The more stories you have together, because you, you know, he's the private person that he is, um, is the, the more is the more stories that pack up, <laughs> and then you remind each other of, of stuff from 24 years ago. Like you, I mean, like uh, uh, you know, being friends and, uh, and 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 I think yeah, it's laughter that really got us uh, uh, together in the first place. I remember. Uh, even at high school, I, I got close to, to to Cabello, you know, sooner. Cabello, 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 <laughs> you know. So we we got along and uh, uh, sooner, and uh, I found him to be incredibly funny. And and then I say to him one day, Hey, God, yeah, 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 you are so funny. And he says, Ah, ah, you, I'm not funny. That guy, Tukulo, and I've just seen this Tukulo just like as this chubby, you know, it's like that boy, how can you be finding you? Did I speak too soon? Yeah. Uh, certainly amongst the, if not the most, the funniest person I've ever come across in my life. Uh, and, and I think it was based on that. And, uh, you know, so making music, being creative around the kind of content and the kind of message we're going to have in the songs. I came with that kind of humor because we, we, were, we were looking for different ways of communicating certain things and differently and you know what I'm saying. So I guess we were always intrigued by each other's creativity and uh, mm. a lot of stuff obviously did not make it onto the records. But uh, but yeah, there was a lot that, that went in there that entertained us even uh, as mm. friends.
Mm, yeah, I literally grew up on the, the three of you guys. I had aunts and uncles who played your music all the time. I was too young, obviously, to get CDs or cassettes, whatever was available during that time. Your aunts and young. uncles were our age, no? Yes, they were. <laughs> but I really did grow oh, up uh, listening to, to you guys, and it was quite sad for us as well to hear about Dukullo's passing. And Zwai, thank you very much for speaking to us here on ENCA. Zwai Bala is uh, a founding you. member of TKZ as well as Dukullo Chabalala's friend.